What's going on, everyone? Thank you for joining me again on the show. I am taking a break from trading. I'm going to hit you with it right away. Uh, it's actually 9.34 Central Standard Time, which is 10.34 market time. And it's usually the time where I stop trading anyway. But, you know, I, I had a... I've been having a rough month. I know I just released an episode about February of my week and how I've been doing and how it's not been going too well. This is not going to regurgitate all of that, but it is going to say what I'm doing to fix it, right? So if you're dealing with challenges, if you're dealing with some kind of issue when it comes to trading, I'll let you know how this works for me and maybe you can join me with it or maybe you can tell me what works for you. But I have been fortunate to meet a lot of people through this show, a lot of people who have helped me, Kyle Williams, Alex, aka Tagger Trades, Brian Lee, uh, Tim Bowen, uh, many, many others. I mean, there's tons of people, James Friedlander, Tom Diesel. I mean, there's everyone that I ever talked to on my show have been, continue to, you know, communicate with me, Jack Kellogg. But with with all that in mind, I met an individual here recently on a show that I was on called Steady Trade. If you haven't listened to Steady Trade, definitely go check them out. It's a great podcast. But one of the hosts is Kim Ann Curtin. She's a psycholog or I don't want to get this wrong, but she's a Wall Street coach. And she coaches other traders when it comes to psychology. And, you know, we had a good connection during the interview, and I had a private conversation with her, and just recently, because she's seen what I've been going through just this month, and it helped me a lot. And what I mean by help me is, I don't know if it's going to help me in the long run yet, but I have a high chance or a high belief that it will, right? This is why I'm doing it, and what that is, is I'm not trading, I'm not going to look at stocks. I'm not going to look at, you know, videos of people trading, lessons, anything until I can get back to center because I have found that I've been screwed up, guys, in the head. You know, short selling, something that people don't talk about, which I'll probably make an episode about is the fees and borrows and all of that and how that can be, can take care, you know, take away from your profits. But with that being said, I have been dealing with a struggle lately. It's hard for me to share this, but I want to share with you, you know, the journey and and how things have been going. And I'm, I've been mentally drained and yeah, I, I found consistency, but it's easy to flip right out of that. It really is. And I know a lot of people can relate to that, but lately, you know, I've just been in this funk of you know, trying to make back what I believe is mine and trying to just, just, I've been trading completely out of the zone. I've been trading either revenge trading, FOMO trading. The only thing that's kept me alive, that's kept me good is my risk management. And because of that, I, I haven't lost huge. I've just lost a little bit. So I know it sounds like I'm losing a ton, which I'm not. And I'm not saying that to justify where I'm at in my progress. I'm just saying that to really give you the facts of still how it's affected me. And in the past, this same feeling has happened. And I know when it happened before, I had a big blow up. And so what I see that that thought right there is coming back. Whew, and I and I get scared and anxiety just thinking about that because I I'm in a spot right now where what I see is fear. So when I've been coming in the market Especially on yesterday was Tuesday, the 18th. When I came to the market on Tuesday, I didn't come excited. I mean, I I came excited, but there was an underlining fear. And I can't explain it. Every time I say that, I get anxiety. It's weird. But it's like a fear of like, I don't want to lose or I don't, I want to make, or it was like, I want to make back this money or I don't know. It was just something related around that is all I can really say. And it all relates because if you listen to that episode on Steady Trade or if you just listen to some of our previous episodes, I talk about how, you know, I, a long time ago, I went, what, six months consistently profitable. But I was trading very small, super small. <laughs> and and uh, when I thought I was up like a three grand, 3.5, I don't remember the exact amount. I was just up 
quite a bit when I was risking like 25 bucks, 50 bucks. But my broker ended up telling me I was down $100. And they said, and I quote, we're surprised you're only down that much because of how small you're trading and how often you're trading. So the fees added up, right? And that was a gut gut punch. But that's still with me I and because what I'm experienced recently is I've been profitable and in seeing profits, you know, net gains. But I've been judging like it's not much and, and I've been focused on that like, you know, it's just not much. And so because of that, I've been trying to push it, trying to push it even more. I just increased my size and I've just been trying to like really grow. And Kim Man Curtin, or I'll just call her Kim, is helped me a little bit on helping me see that I am not in a neutral state and I need to get to neutral. And one of her biggest advice, which deep down inside I know I should have probably done this. And when I heard her said it, it, it was like gut-riching, right? She was like, you need to step away from trading. And I had major anxiety when she said that because I'm just thinking like, oh, well, what if I miss opportunities? I'm not going to get the chance to make this money back or what if today's the day? And then when I think about actually trading like today, today's the day after that. It's the 19th. If I think about trading, which I almost did, I didn't log in. You'd be proud of me, Kim. I didn't log in, but I almost double clicked the icon, right, to open up the software. But as soon as I was thinking about doing it, I felt that anxiety again of, I don't want to lose. And I know that I'm not in neutral. So I'm stepping away. And I have a friend of mine who's a poker player who that's what he does for a living. He's working his way up through the ranks and he's doing really well. His name is EJ. And I can tell you that there's a lot of similarities between poker and trading. I may need to bring him on the show sometime soon to talk about that. But the psychology is huge in both of them. And, you know, he was I've always admired how he can step away from the game. And what's crazy is he's he's like, oh, I'm not playing well. I'm not enjoying it right now. I'm going to take a week off. And when I hear that, I'm like, man, hats off to you. I have a lot of respect for him because he can do that because I, I can't. and Or I have not been able to. I can because I will, and I'm doing it today. And I'll do it the rest of this week. That's my goal. And it sucks that I just said that because I'm going to hold myself accountable, and you can too. But I have to because I need to get back to neutral. He'll do that. He'll take like a week off, and then sometimes he'll take a two weeks off. I've even seen that before, before he goes back. Because he needs to get back to zero, zero, to back to clear headed. Because losses beget losses because of our psychology and how I'm thinking. Yesterday I was trading, there's an opportunity that didn't quite fit my pattern. I like to short a gap down on the first day, first red day, gap down after overextension. And there was a stock that wasn't even gapping down. It was actually spiking, right? A pre-market. And I hate trading pre-market for all of the for all of you who know. And it started going red near the open. Pre-market. And I took an entry. And I was wrong. You know, it never, you know, actually opened green. And it uh, continued to spike and run even further. And I took that loss small. But then that became a reason for me to watch it the entire day, which if I would have never traded it, I would have never been in it throughout the whole day. But instead, I got my revenge hat on and continued trading. So I need to get rid of this and I need to really experience it. That's what I'm going to focus on. Like she said, Kim was mentioning, I need to experience these feelings. I need to let them, you know, resonate with them, let them come through. Or else I won't be able to continue. Or I'm going to be content, completely in the wrong headspace. So that's what I'm working on this week. And I wanted to share that with you. Because I'm sure it can help some people out there. So I'm not trading. 
I'm not going to review trades. I'm not going to watch videos, even though I love watching like re trade reviews from different traders out there and looking at their charts, all of that. But I'm going to completely step away. I even going to step away from reviewing. Right. And, and that's hard because I'm like, I want to I want to study if I'm not trading. And my friend EJ, he goes, no, man, you got you You need to step away completely because you need to let all that knowledge settle give your time to process and then come back clear so that's what i'm doing so i appreciate i mean i appreciate everyone i've been meeting a lot of you guys have been commenting on youtube and i really appreciate it i really do on twitter you've been messaging me on instagram you've been dming me i appreciate all of it because your support helps me a ton and just sharing and relating with each other is is awesome and i really appreciate it so be sure to remember to like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube or if you're listening on iTunes. And subscribe to the newsletter on my website, bethestory.net. That's just the letter B, thestory.net. So that way you can enter into the contest that ends March 15th to be a guest on my show and get a book, my favorite trading book, Trading in the Zone. Thanks again, guys, and I hope... I hope you guys are having a way better week than me. And if you're joining me on this, DM me. Message me on Twitter. Message me on, on Instagram, on YouTube, and say, I'm doing this too right now because I need some space. Thanks, guys.